Welcome to Defense Line Channel. You can subscribe to our channel to be informed about military developments in the world. Russia took great measures against the United States and NATO countries with the Sea Breeze exercise. He deployed to Syria and sailed to the Warm Seas. They stated that the exercises were carried out for their own country. They began to take very strict and comprehensive measures in this regard. Recently, President Putin said that air defense systems are now active in Syria. He declared that he had given the order to shoot at the slightest border violation. With the withdrawal of the United States from the region, Russia and Iran began to be much more active. In response to the United States' support to Israel, Russia and Iran began working together in the region. On the other hand, Russia started exercises in the Black Sea in response to the Sea Breeze exercise. They stated that the British ship violated their territorial waters. Later, they experienced similar events with the Netherlands and Greece. But their reaction was very harsh. Because we know that Russian jets opened fire near the ship to force the British ship to leave the area. Britain says these are international waters, Russia says they are territorial waters. In general, Russia took many decisions after the exercises were over. They saw their strengths and weaknesses but they say they will take a very harsh stance. For this, they act strategically by making forward-looking plans. Therefore, they turn to new and more powerful systems. The most notable of these are the Zircon hypersonic missiles. This missile was produced as a deterrent against the United States and NATO countries. So, as I mentioned, they closely examined the Sea Breeze exercises and determined the strategies they should do. Russia says these exercises will take a heavy blow. The hypersonic missile they produce is. It was stated in the tests that it hit the target 350 kilometers away. But its maximum range can reach up to 1,000 kilometers. They will be able to achieve this with new fuel technologies. In the middle of orbit at 740 kilometers and beyond, the range increases in the same direction. As I said, it is adjusted and fired according to ballistic conditions. It has a sensitive structure as it flies at very high speeds. It is said to reach an altitude of 28 kilometers. Of course, this number can increase or decrease. However, even in this way, even mid-level air defense systems can be helpless. If there is an air defense system that can reach an altitude of 30 kilometers, many ships and countries do not have it. Assuming your dive will exceed Mach 7, it's nearly impossible to stop the missile. Speed Mach 7 is 7 times faster than the speed of sound. This corresponds to approximately 9,000 km per hour. The missile's guidance type is unknown and may vary. However, since it is very fast, it does not need a precise routing. The movements and maneuvers that he can do are very conscious. But the orbital map is quite large. That's what makes this gun special. As for the engine, Zircon uses a liquid fuel scramjet engine. It also has a supersonic combustion chamber and exhaust outlet. It is quite difficult to build compared to standard ramjets. Because it has similarities with many engine types and needs infrastructure. On the other hand, it is thought to have wings compared to other missiles. In other words, there was an improvement in maneuvers. It also has an external solid propellant engine that accelerates the missile to supersonic speeds after launch. This is really important in terms of increasing range. Of course, it then uses its own engine to reach hypersonic speeds. But most importantly, this engine drives the missile into a frictionless environment. This makes it more comfortable and glides better. It would not be wrong to call this stage the sliding stage. It would be more accurate to say that these missiles are gliding vehicles according to their working logic. Instead of cruisers or destroyers, Russia developed them as the main purpose of submarines. Because their existing ships are in bad condition both in terms of quantity and quality. So even if the first shots were successful, the United States Navy could have hit the Russians in the second stage. That's why they're considering silent attacks with very modern submarines.
This could be a threat not only to the United States but to many countries. We know that Russian submarines are quiet. Specific classes and models. Available in new builds. Zircon may have nuclear capability. With the deployment of NATO countries to the Black Sea, Russia made major changes. As I mentioned, they got a great lesson on what to do. In general, you can use it in any way, except for air defense of potential targets. Air defense systems can be especially aircraft carriers, Ticonderoga class cruisers, destroyers, strategic ground targets, ports and bases. In other words, we can say that a great measure has been taken against aircraft carriers in the Black Sea. They also pose a major threat to deployed countries. So is there a way to stop this missile? In fact, it is impossible to stop such vehicles. However, these tools can be ineffective when electronic warfare is too powerful. Because they are fast, they cannot maneuver much. But they can take aim. This happens on a limited basis. You can't evade it like you can with conventional missiles. If detected early, the missile can be destroyed by electronic warfare. The only army that has the potential to do this is the United States. In general, such unstoppable weapons are used either at the beginning of the war or at the very end. Because you can't always use such costly missiles in war. For this reason, countries do not want to use it unless they are in a difficult situation. For example, hypersonic weapons are available in China and the United States. They also have nuclear capability. However, none of them has such a system launched from a submarine. This makes Russia willing to use this weapon. Being one step ahead with a good gun is vital at all times. On the other hand, the United States is negotiating for hypersonic missiles. They want to take up arms and scare Russia. However, in a possible case, the use of these munitions will lead to irreversible disasters. If we come to the main reason for this armament, in the statement, Black Sea Fleet Forces and Capabilities began the pursuit of the United States Navy guided missile destroyer Laboon, which entered the Black Sea on June 11, 2021. The reason for being followed is that the ship is carrying ammunition at full capacity. We can say that this event paved the way for a NATO exercise against Russia in the Black Sea. This is how the big event started. After that, Countries took many precautions and developed new strategies. As a result, Russia began to take comprehensive measures after the exercises of the United States and NATO countries. The exercise made it possible for countries to see their strengths and weaknesses. Russia learned many lessons from this exercise and began to take precautions. The most notable of these are the Zircon hypersonic missiles. When we look at the impact area of the missiles, we see that they are produced to attack aircraft carriers and ports. In other words, we can say that they are powerful systems aimed at the target. Russia is starting to strengthen its weaknesses. If there is another encounter, Russia wants to deal a heavy blow to its enemies. We'll see what happens in the coming days. We have come to the end of another video. You can support us by liking the video. You can easily follow new videos by subscribing. I wish you all happy days. See you.